Hello, my friends. My name is Eliza, and today I have an energizing wake-up routine for you. So a really great sequence for just getting out of bed and rolling onto your mat and building up some energy to kind of get you through the day. Um, if you find that you're struggling to get out of bed at the moment or maybe sleeping too much or just struggling with energy in general, then this is a great sequence for you. I recommend that you give the video a save and come back to it every morning or whenever you feel that you need that little bit of a pick me up. You won't need any props for today, just your mat and some time and uh, space for yourself. A gentle reminder that you are your own best teacher. So if anything doesn't feel right for you throughout the practice, please, please always feel free to adjust or um, to change the position to suit your body, to suit your needs and no need to force yourself into any poses at all. Please steer clear of any form of pain, twinging or discomfort and a very simple way to fix this is just to lessen the intensity of the pose. So we'll start seated, sit with some length in your spine and maybe come to close your eyes for a moment or lower your gaze. As you just bring your awareness right here into the space, onto the mat. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice how the body feels. And take a deep inhale through your nose. Fill your lungs as much as is comfortable for you, no strain. Exhale everything out by mouth. Two more just like that at your own pace. Deep inhale. Fill your belly. And exhale out by mouth. Last one on your own. Release control of your breath and slowly lower the chin towards your chest. And start to draw a circle with your nose as you tilt your head over to the right. Allow the head to come back slowly. And over to the left. Chin down, close your circle. Two more in that direction. If you hear or feel any clicks or cracks in the neck, just make your circle smaller. And do your best to relax your shoulders, sit up tall. Once you've completed your third circle, we'll meet with chin to chest and change direction. Three circles in the opposite direction. Move slowly, move mindfully as we start to wake the body up. Get it ready for the day. Get yourself energized. And on your third circle, end with chin to chest. Slowly raise the chin up, head up, open the eyes, reach the arms up, cactus arms, stretch the elbows away from each other, spread your fingertips wide, really stretch, stretch, stretch the elbows away from each other. Inhale to find length in your spine, exhale, take a gentle twist to the right, keep those elbows at shoulder height, inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up, stretch up. Maybe you give yourself a big yawn here. Exhale, cactus arms, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, cactus arms, twist to the right. Last one on the other side. Inhale, back to center, reach arms up, stretch up. Exhale, cactus arms to the left. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up, stretch them up, stretch, 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 really stretch up from your waist. Exhale, bring your arms down, hands down, roll over the knees, come to tabletop. Spread your fingertips wide, grip down through fingerprints and really press the mat away from you, zip up through the belly. Inhale to lower the navel towards the mat, look ahead of you for cow pose. Exhale, tuck the pelvis round through the spine. Look down at the belly button for cat. 
two more just like this do your best to connect to the length of the movement to the length of your breath you're pressing the hands into the mat to avoid sinking in the shoulders and bring your spine back to neutral step the right foot back toes on the mat Really press right toes into the mat, zip up through the belly and press the hands into the mat. Feel free to stay here or tuck the left toes and lift the left knee. Feel that core switch on, keep pressing the hands into the mat. Slowly, slowly lower the left knee down and tuck the toes, right knee to meet the left. Other side, stretch the left leg back, toes tucked. If you stayed here on the other side, then stay here on this side. Otherwise, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, zip up through the core. You can do this. If this hasn't woken you up, I don't know what will. And slowly, slowly lower the right knee down. Bring the left knee back to meet the right. Tuck both toes. Bring the seat down towards the feet. Lift the knees, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Keep a deep bend in the knees for now. This is your first downward facing dog of the day. Press the mat away from you to send the energy up the spine and down the legs. Slowly start to pedal the feet out, one heel down and then the other. Draw the armpits to face towards one another. Find that space in between the shoulders. Bring your feet to stillness. Bend the knees. Look in between the hands and walk the feet in between the hands. Bring the feet about hip width distance apart and fold forward. Rest the belly on top of the thighs. And maybe allow your hands to rest on the floor or grab opposite elbows. Hang out here in ragdoll. Feel free to stay in stillness or if it feels good for you today, maybe rock side to side. Come back to stillness. Release your hands. Keep the bend in the knees. Hands onto the hips. Zip up through the belly and slowly, slowly come to stand. As you come to stand at the top of your mat, feet comfortably together. Stand up tall. Lift the inner arches of your feet. Feel the energy rise up through your legs. The thighs switch on. Feel that energy continue to rise up through the abdomen. All the way into the chest. Shoulders up towards the ears. Draw the shoulders back in space. Pinch the shoulder blades together. And allow them to flop down. Stand tall in mountain pose. Tadasana. Inhale, raise your arms up, reach up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to the sides of the shins. Keep pressing the toes into the mat to shift the weight forward. So notice if you're sinking into the back of your heels. On your next exhale, fold forward, bend your knees, plant your hands. Step back, right and left to plank. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look in between your hands, step your right foot in between the hands, step the left foot forward and out about an inch, lower the left heel down if you can, otherwise leave the heel lifted. Keep the deep bend in the front knee, sweep the fingertips, come all the way up, warrior one. Notice if you're twisting into your back knee, really ground through the outer back foot if that back heel is down. If not, stay high up on the ball of the foot. This is perfectly fine. Keep the deep bend in the front knee. Keep reaching up, stretching up from the waist. Bring the hands down, interlace the fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Heel toe the right foot out to the right edge of your mat. As we set up for humble warrior. Inhale to find a lift in the chest, no back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Maybe allow the hands, the arms to come overhead. Take a peek at that back foot. Notice if you're sinking into the inner arch of the back foot, really ground through the outer back foot to keep that back leg active. Slowly, slowly lower the hands down first. Once the hands make contact with the back, engage your core and make your way all the way up. Keep those fingers interlaced. Legs are doing the work here. Release your hands. Leave your arms either side of your body. Heel toe your front foot back roughly to the center of your mat and come up high on the back heel. Hinge the upper body forward and when you're ready, launch the back leg off the mat for warrior three. Suck the right hip bone in and up. Dial the left toes down and zip up through the belly. Keep your drishti, your gaze on one still spot. Keep stretching those fingertips back in space, shoulders away from the ears. Maintain your focus on one still spot. 
Slowly, slowly, bend the front knees, step back, high lunge, reach your arms up, stretch up. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the front foot. Step back to plank. Bend elbows, bend knees, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Look in between the hands, step the left foot in between the hands. The right foot comes forward and out about an inch. Maybe the heel comes down, maybe it doesn't. That's perfectly fine. Set the feet up, warrior one. Sweep the fingertips, come all the way up, reach up. Really ground through the outer back foot. Keep that deep bend in the front knee. Reach your arms up from the waist. On your next exhale, hands down, interlace fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Heel, toe, left foot out to the left edge of your mat this time. Inhale to find that lift in your chest, no back bend. Exhale, fold forward, left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Allow arms, hands to come overhead, ground through the outer right foot. Keep that deep bend in the front knee. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, keep the arms active, and try your best to relax your toes. Slowly, slowly, hands come down. Once the hands kiss the lower back, engage the core, come all the way up, legs are strong. Release the hands. Heel toe the left foot to the middle of the mat. Come up high on the back heel. As you prepare for warrior three, find your drishti, your still spot. This really helps with your balance. So just a still spot for you to stare at. Hinge the upper body forward. Launch the right leg off the mat. Suck the left hip bone in and up. Dial the right toes down. Send the chest down towards the floor. Send the fingertips back in space. Maybe you want hands to pray. Maybe you want to reach your arms out in front of you if you have the space. Your choice what you want to do with your arms. Keep that standing leg strong by suctioning that hip bone in and up. On your next exhale, deep bend in the front leg, step back high, lunge, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the front foot, step back to plank. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Lower the knees down either edge of your mat for a wide knee child's pose. Toes maybe come to touch. Drape the body to the inside of the legs. Maybe reach the arms out in front of you or make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Take one cleansing breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. Feel the belly rise in between the thighs. Exhale everything out by mouth. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press yourself up and come to sit in any comfortable position once more. Allow your hands to rest in your lap or wherever you can forget about them. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders, maybe close your eyes, maybe lower your gaze. And just check in, just notice how you feel now. Notice if anything has changed for you. Bring your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra, if that is comfortable for you. And as you bow your head towards your hands, mentally state, I am energized. I am focused. I thank you for joining me on the mat today. Namaste. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the sequence and that it gave you that little boost of energy that you needed today. Carry this energy with you throughout the day. And if at any point you feel that you need that extra boost, then you can always come back to this quick sequence to revitalize your energy in a natural way. I look forward to seeing you again for another session of Yoga in 10.